All right, we're about to enter the battlefield. We can do this. this video we're going to talk all about houseplant pests if you guys have been following me on instagram you know i've been dealing with mealybugs for the last couple of days on a few of my house plants and i'm here to obviously share my experience on how i go about treating those plants and how i get rid of these mealybugs as well as a few of the common houseplant pests that we typically deal with as plant parents and plantaholics having indoor plants it is pretty much unavoidable to uh, not have any of these uh, houseplant pests uh, you will encounter them and so far i've encountered fungus gnats mealybugs which is a form of scale and those brown scales that are really hard to get rid of and uh, thankfully i haven't experienced yet uh, aphids or spider mites uh, hopefully not anytime soon but again i wouldn't be surprised if i do uh, maybe this summer and whatnot but the first one i want to talk about are fungus gnats so those are the fruit look fruit fly looking uh, mosquito looking type of black flies that crawl around the soil, fly around your plants, and uh, they typically come from having wet or moist soil for long periods of time in shady parts of your room. So one way to avoid getting fungus gnats in the first place is to not overwater your plants and have wet soil sitting for long periods of time. If you have marantas or calatheas and you like to keep them more on the moist side, uh, I would aerate the soil to try and obviously you know get them to dry out a little faster. Again, you don't need want um, wet soil for long periods of time. Not only will you create fungus gnats, but you will also kill your plants uh, by you know root rot and whatnot. So avoid overwatering. But if you do happen to have fungus gnats flying around, crawling around the soil get those yellow sticky uh, paper to place around your plants. They are traps for those fungus gnats, so they will stick to them and that's a way to get rid of them. Or you can use home remedy uh, solutions like what I do. So one way you can do it is through um, getting apple cider vinegar and uh, dish soap and you know placing them around your plants and the uh, fungus gnats will be attracted to them and they will go in there and they will drown. Or you can do what I do, which works for me really well, surprisingly, is getting leftover sweet white wine and placing them around uh, the plants. And again, the fungus gnats will be attracted to them and drown. You're probably asking what is leftover wine. You're right, it should not happen. But in my case, um, if I do have leftover white wine that's warm, I don't drink them warm. So I just you know, would leave them and store them in a place so I can use them for uh, my fungus gnats if I do happen to get them again. Uh, another way you can also get rid of fungus gnats is my probably favorite way and I don't have one yet but get yourself a Butterworth plant. Here's a picture of what that plant looks like uh, but I've seen this on uh, Sonia Witch Plants uh, Instagram page that she has a lot of Butterworth plants and they trap these fungus gnats like really really well and not only are they cool looking plants but it's so cool to watch the fungus gnats uh, uh, go in there trap them and they eat them They're obviously it's like a venus fly trap they get their nutrients from them so if you do happen to get uh, come across butterwort plants get some uh, because they will help with your fungus gnats issues so the next common houseplant pests i've dealt with are those mealybugs which uh, i first encountered them on my jade plant and my hoyas they typically like succulents and hoyas and uh, I got rid of them, I remember, about six months ago, and now I saw them come back on my coffee plant, my zebra plant, and on my bird of paradise. So, dealing with mealybugs um, infestation, I, I kind of go through a few steps. First step is you want to quarantine your house plants. So I take them in the bathroom and I place them there for a couple of days and that's where I will treat them. Next step is to obviously treat your house plant with a solution that will kill them. And uh, so far you can use a couple of methods to do this. Uh, one is neem oil, which I've never used before, but I know a few of you guys have suggested and have good experience with it. So you guys can use that and mix it with warm water and spray down your plants. Or you can use rubbing alcohol dish soap and warm water, mix it into a spray bottle and shake it well, and you can use that as kind of your home remedy to kill those uh, mealybugs. Now, the amount of alcohol and dish soap will depend on how infested your uh, plants are or how big your plants, uh, plants is. Uh, I typically would like to use um, 50 milliliters of rubbing alcohol, you know, a few drops of dishwasher soap, and then the rest are warm water in this one liter spray bottle. Now, 
If you only have a couple of mealy bugs, I would suggest getting a cod swab, dipping it in rubbing alcohol, and targeting those mealy bugs directly, and then spraying down that plant, and then repeat that a few times. Uh, but if you have a whole bunch of mealy bugs and they're everywhere and you can't see them, and there's a lot of grooves and whatnot, then obviously I would use the spray bottle method. Now, mealy bugs, personally for me, I remember the first time I've experienced them, they love succulents and hoyas, and uh, uh, they really like to latch onto those guys. But recently, my coffee plant, my zebra plant, and my bird of paradise are now experiencing that. So these are the plants that I am treating today and right now. So what I am doing with this is I am spraying them down with my homemade uh, solution. And I will spray them in the morning and in the evening. And I will let them soak for about an hour or two. Then I will use my high pressure spray bottle to wash them down. And I will repeat that a couple more times for the next few days. Now, my only recommendation on when to do this is do this in the evening when you get home from work and before you go to bed, or do this really early in the morning. You don't wanna do this during the daytime where it's warm or hot and where the plant is active because obviously there's alcohol solution. And we know that can typically, you know, that may burn your plants as well too. So you don't wanna do that um, during the daytime. But that is what I use to kind of get rid of my fungus gnats. So my plants right now, I've been treating them the last couple of days. They are almost ready to be released, but I'm gonna wash them down uh, tonight again one more time, and then I will let them sit there overnight, and then I will place them back uh, during the daytime. And then what I will do typically is I'll do some post-care treatment, which I will check the plants uh, just to make sure they are good. And uh, if I do catch a little you know, fungus gnats here or there, or possibly, or I would just use a con swab method and try and kill them directly. Um, but yeah, that is what I typically will do to kill those fungus gnats. Now, if you guys are wondering where I got this high pressure spray bottle, I got this guy from Amazon. Ta-da! And I love this guy because first of all, I live in a condo, so I don't have one of those um, um, faucets where I can plug in the high pressure uh, you know, hose and hose down my plants. And I also don't have a handheld shower uh, that I can typically just use to spray down the plants. So, this is a great alternative to it. The only thing I wish is I wish I got a two liter one. This is only a one liter, but typically it has this pump. And you know, this is what creates the pressure. Uh, you pump it a few times and then it has this button and it sprays down your plants really well. And this is actually good for giving your plants a thorough shower uh, once a month, which is also a good way to keep your plants healthy and clean and uh, a way to also prevent any pests. So uh, I'm glad I got this. I'll provide a link in the description below for you guys to check it out if you are looking for one of these high pressure spray bottles. So the next group of houseplant pests I'm dealing with right now are those brown looking scale that love to stick to your plants real good. And if you have a lot of these guys or they are in clumps or they are in rows, I would suggest cutting off that stem or that leaf and throwing it away because they are really, really hard to get rid of. Thankfully, I only have a couple of them and it is only on my bird of paradise. So the way I'm treating this plant is using the same solution I use for my mealybugs. So I spray the plant down and let it soak for about an hour or two. Then I use my high pressure spray bottle to wash them down. And then I get a sharp tool to gently scrape off the scales because like I said, these guys love to stick to your plants. They are not easy to get rid of. So get one of these tools to just lightly scrape them off. Uh, then what I will do is spray down the plant again with the home remedy solution obviously letting it soak and then wash them down with your high pressure uh, shower or spray bottle. And then check your plant again to make sure all the scales are off. If you do catch any more, use that sharp tool again to uh, scrape them off. So there you guys have it. That's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys. Again, I don't know if my methods will work for your plants or all my plants anyway, but I'm still learning as well. And if you guys do have any other suggestions on how to go about you know, dealing with fungus gnats, mealybugs, or brown scales, uh, comment below, share with the community your experience and uh, also with me because like I said, I'm still learning and we'll see what happens when I encounter aphids or spider mites. Uh, I haven't researched how to get rid of them yet, uh, but when I do, I'll obviously want to create a video and share with you guys. But other than that, hopefully you guys are enjoying your weekend and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.